So let's continue the series on uh, frequently asked questions on FGM bonds. We've done part one, part two, so you can check our playlist on finance if you want to know more. So quickly, I want to talk about the remaining six frequently asked questions about FGM bonds. Let's move into it. When will I receive my interest? Because the reason why you're investing is because of your interest. It's because of the return on investment. So when will you receive it? When it comes to F FGM bonds, you receive your interest four times a year. Four times a year. You know, the minimum you can do is two years. It is paid quarterly, which means every three, three months. So the date would have been stated in the offer for subscription form. You would have seen it that, okay, this is when my interest will be paid. So it is not that you will be left in a limbo. You will not know when your interest will be paid. No, it would have been stated in the offer for subscription form that this is the date. The exact date that the interest will be paid will even be stated on the offer for subscription form. So you will receive your payment four times a year when it comes to FGM bonds. Number 12, when will I receive my principal? which is your initial investment, you invested 500,000 here, your principal will be paid at the maturity of your investment, which means if you invested for two years, after 24 months, you will receive your principal. Your interest is four times your principal is at the end of the maturity. If it is three years, it is at the end of the 36 months, at the end of the third year. So that is that. Number 13. Can I terminate my investments at any time? Can you terminate it? Because the talk is it that it's only at the end of the two years, at the end of three years that I can receive my money. No, you can terminate it at any point in time. At any point in time, yes. That's one beautiful thing about FGM bonds. You can terminate it at any point in time. So the question now is, how can you terminate your investments? your FGM bonds, which leads us to the next question. How can you terminate it? You can terminate it by just, once you have your CSCS number and your CHN number. I'm talking about, I've been saying this in the video that I'm familiar with Stambic IBTC. So that is what you need when it comes to, and I want to believe that it's a, it has a similar requirement across board. It has a similar requirement across board, whether with, a, with FBN Quest or whether with other banks. It's possible they have similar requirements across board, but you can terminate it at any point in time because it can be traded over the counter. I hope you understand. Over the counter, it's a terminology we use in accounting. So don't let me bore you with a technical term. What is the penalty for termination? Would I be penalized? Is there an implication? Is there any consequence for terminating my investments? The answer is no. There's no penalty. There's no implication. I hope you are. I hope you are. The only, the only implication is that you stop receiving your interest. It is the last one you received. That is the. That is. The, that will be the end. I hope you understand. So that is the only penalty. That is the only implication. You stop receiving your interest, but your principal will be paid at the point of termination. It will be paid at the point of termination. So you can see that it's a mode of saving. You use it to save your money. How do I terminate my investments? How do you terminate it? You're spoken out. Can you terminate? Yes. What do you need? You need CSCS account or clearing house number. The next question is, how do you terminate your investments? You only need to send an email. You can just need to send an email. Once you go through the process of registering, the process of termination will also have been stated where you need to send the email to, the, the mail that you need to you need to write in order for you to terminate your investment. It would have been there. So it is not something that you now begin to figure out how do you terminate your investment. You only need to send an email to that, to that email address provided the investment platform. So I think with this, we've come to an end on the frequently asked questions on FGM bonds. And if you have any questions, comments, or thoughts, you can drop it in the comment section below. I'll try as much as possible to attend to it there. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do by clicking on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we release a new video. On this channel, we talk about business, finance, and investments. So, till we meet in our next video, stay blessed.